<laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Street Eats and Dope Beats. Hey, uh. I am Chef Adam, along with my brothers, JMKM, Mike Rock. Hello. And What's up? And we're right here at the Dope Spot in Rosemead, Rose City Pizza. Hey. For our uh, second annual Snack Attack, Snack Attack 2, Star Wars edition, because it's May 4th, so happy May, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And with did your I, spirit. Did I say that right? Yeah. What, what does that mean? May the no, fourth be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, you're out. a Trekkie or what? You better no, watch out. Know. The reason to come, I'm going to take you out. <laughs> Star Wars only, bro. Yeah, so we're here. Group uh, group art show and pizza collab with Mike Rock's side hustle, Poke Party. So we poke got, party. got one of those Poke pizzas on deck. Yeah, yeah. And then our side hustle, Isto's Musubi. We got the Musubi pizza. From last year, we brought back, and then we're doing the Kahlua Porg. Ooh. Kahlua Porg. Kahlua Porg. Nice. Pizza. And then, um, what else we got? And we got Kilo X Wings by the man. Hey. JMK. Kilo X Wings. I like that back. a lot. Kilo we brought that from X-Wings. home, from the 808. The special To the 626. The very That's rare. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. So I'm ready we, for that. I'm ready for that. So we got an evening of art, pizza, beer, people. Yeah. We bunch got, of the homies we, pulling up. We got uh, the owner, Brian, on deck. He's going to be coming up, talking with us for a little bit. And uh, that's about it. So we're going to get back at it in a bit. Peace. Peace. All right, we're back. We're back with everybody now. We got we got the owner, Mr. Mm. Brian, of Rose City Pizza. Thank you, brother, for having hey. us. What's up, thanks, man? thanks for What's up, being a part Brian? of this. This is awesome. Yeah. We're excited. It's yeah, always excited. a good time. I'm here. excited. Always Thank you for time. having us and allowing us to set up. Uh, Anytime. You guys are like up. family. Anytime. Oh, rad, rad. So let me ask you, so how did you get into the pizza game? Uh, we, we thought there was a need for a pizzeria in, in Rosemead that could do like creative dishes such as we do with, um, you know, different fusion foods and stuff like that. Keep it interesting. Keep it keep it alive. Keep it um, really creative. That's what, we, that's what we aim for here. Nice. Yeah, we yeah. love it. And if y'all out there have not came to Rose City, man, you need to do yourself a favor. <laughs> come down. Order, let's see, start off with the Al Pastor pizza. Al Pastor. Fire. The Elote pizza. Elote pizza's fire. Everything on the menu is fire, 100%. (laughs) Thank you, guys. I can't complain. My go to, like, DoorDash order. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Go to DoorDash (laughs) order. Is that that young? Uh, uh, Pre saved cilantro pesto pasta chicken. Ooh. Get that all. Nice guy. A little little to go. Nice. That's the, also, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, I totally forgot about this, but the lasagna grilled cheese. Oh, I, I haven't that. had that yet. I had that yesterday. Yeah. I haven't had that yet. So oh, only it's, you it's hungry. Only, oh, you had well, that I yesterday? Had that, I did, dude. It, it, it filled delivered. you up, huh? I seen it on, on IG and I was like, I tagged Doreen. I'm like, Doreen, uh-huh. I'm having this today. I'm eating this today. <laughs> you called it. I called it. I had to. Yeah. Because every time we come, we get the pizza. JJ eats everything, so <laughs> we don't even get a chance to eat pizza. His go-to is the... Uh, um, pastrami? The pastrami pizza. How right do you come on. up with this stuff? Is it like inspired by Proposition 215 or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no, like, we, we, just get, we just get hungry. And Shout out to all the stoners things. real yeah. quick. <laughs> and we crave different things and we see if we can create it here with the stuff we already have. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. So we were craving a pastrami sandwich from the hat. And we're like, I'm too lazy to drive over yeah. there. So let's see if we can do something here. Pastrami over got. here. Yeah. Hell yeah. And it's legit. I love it. It's like the pastrami is the perfect... <laughs> I guess thickness. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's meaty, so it's still meaty, but it, it lends itself well. It's a good balance as a, as a pizza yeah. topping. It's nice and crisp in the oven. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. It's bomb. So oh, the yeah. old question goes: Does pineapple belong on pizza? Uh-oh. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go there. It's one to know, city. man. <laughs> it, it does at Rose City. city. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's why we got that fresh pineapple on that yeah. Yeah. pork. I'm not gonna lie. I like I like, pork, I like yeah. it. I love pineapple well, see, on pizza. see, pineapple means something different to Jordan. So that's why Jordan's no, no, no. just like... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Guys. Oh, you guys want poi on your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what you like on your pizza? Yeah, we could have made a poi pizza. You like uh, <laughs> spamming peanut butter cups on your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, pineapple, is it's a flavor profile. It goes on pizza. No, that's not you. the question. The issue I have is when it's called like Hawaiian pizza. Okay, yeah, yeah. I okay. Because pineapples don't go on pizzas yeah. in Hawaii. They only yeah. go on pizzas out here. Yeah. But... Yeah. I get that's I interesting. Get it. That's the only it. thing. But if it needs it and it adds yeah. to the flavor, as it did with this Kahlua pork, as it yeah. does, then let's actually, run it. You know? Yeah, I don't no. hate. I, some people they don't like pineapple on pizza because of the flavor. Yeah, 
I like pineapples, and it's not because I'm from Hawaii. A pineapple, <laughs> pepperoni, and jalapeno pizza. Now that's bomb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So All right. That's my so, that's my favorite. Like that's rent, your go-to like, with pineapple. If I'm gonna get pineapple on a pizza, yeah, has that pepperoni and jalapeno. So the verdict is pineapples do belong on pizza. Yeah, yeah, Just, and it's good here at Rose City. So don't at me. Don't come out with that. Yeah, don't, don't come at over me here on with that stuff. IG or Twitter with that. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind. So how long has Rose City been uh, operating? We're going on 10 years. 10 years in uh, end of July. That's awesome. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's, it's time awesome. flew. Flew by. Especially, especially yeah. in food service. Food service is like when you own a restaurant, longevity is like the ultimate goal. And it's it's tough. You know, it's a yeah. tough business, bro. And for you to be here for 10 years, hats off. Big, up, yeah. big time. That's yeah. solid. I heard I'm the 1%, so thank God for that. No, no, definitely. I mean, that's all they they pound. You know, when I went to culinary school and then when I was out there, when I started working in the industry, I mean, it's like, you you know, the people hear, oh, you know, you want to open your restaurant? Good luck. You'll be done by next year. Right. You know, and it's such a, it's such a hard, like competitive. Sometimes you're just gone by the season. Oh, yeah. It's tough. Even sooner than that. It's a tough tough industry but yeah like i said i, I, I think you. what kept us around was i became rooted in the community yes you know i we do like uh local art shows just to support local artists we don't take commissions yep. or anything we're just here to support you know our yeah. customers as well yeah, yeah, just yeah. as how they support us That's and important, um man. so i i become I've worked on becoming heavily rooted in the community that's important shows. Yeah. yeah that's important yeah. because <clears throat> in the city of rosemead um, well, growing up in the San Gabriel Valley area, there's there's a lot of places and there's a lot of opportunities to for a lot of like local artists to shine, but then they just don't have a space or anything like that. So for you to open up the doors, that's really dope. No, yeah, definitely. So when did you start or come up with that idea? Of, let me throw some art on the walls here at the pizza place, and uh, yeah. So well, you well if you go if you go to my house, if you see yeah. me naked, I have art <laughs> all over. <laughs> Hey now. Uh, so why not? All right. Why not? Why not put it on the walls here? It's, it's a reflection of me and what I'm interested in. Cool. So this is my second home, so I gotta feel comfortable. Feel and, comfortable. and art makes me feel comfortable. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> but you always have clothes on here, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless like you're not up on the walls. Unless naked. they catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was Brian. For sanitary reasons. <laughs> sanitary. I gotta keep my clothes on. <laughs> That's so dope. That is awesome. What's so your awesome. favorite pizza here? Um, so, for, like, for the yeah, past 10 I, years. I, I'm a big meat eater. Okay. Uh, I know there's a big uh, big vegan movement, but I'm, I stay true to eating meat all the time. I, so I love the pastrami. I love the meaty. The yes. lasagna is like three meats. Pep- yeah. uh, beef, sausage, bacon. Wow. Yeah, I'm all about the hey. meat. So those, those are my three go-tos. Whenever I'm hungry here, that's awesome. What about Al Pastor? Al Pastor, that's my favorite pizza here. Actually, yeah. Um, I don't like to go order pizzas from anywhere else now because I'm like, I just want Al Pastor pizza. Yeah, Al Pastor is like it's every time. It's fire. (laughs) Yeah, I'm glad you guys like it. Now with with all these um, ideas and 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 um, uh, what's what's the word? Fusion? No. Fusion, fusion, wow, dude, that's a long yeah, that's a, that's day, a man. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Fusion. That was fusion. Fusion. Do you, do you get any like backlash from a lot of people? Be like, do they well, talk well, first of all, shit or anything not, like that? I'm not true Italian. Yeah. yeah. So, so I I couldn't come out with like a true Italian menu. Absolutely. So I'm a, I'm an Asian dude making pizza. So yeah. that in itself is a fusion. <laughs> yeah. right. that, that's a fusion right Already. there. That's yeah, fusion yeah. right there. Oh, man, I like that. And um. You know, I, I want to. I aim to be different. That's Cause awesome. like if I there's a bunch of pizza places off Valley and around this area. Yeah. Yes. I didn't want to be in that that game where who has the best pepperoni pizza. Right. I wanted to create something where no one else would have, so they couldn't compare me to anything. Right. I wanted to be unique, so that's where we started coming up with different creations. Yeah. That we we started having fun. Basically, the first three years were tough because we were trying to be like true New York, authentic. They're like, well, do you use New York water? No, I don't. Well, you're not authentic then. Oh, so yeah. I'm like, so I'm like, Man. Uh, hey, you want me to make I bagels need, too yeah, or what? Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going to change it up. I'm going to change it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah, that's when we and started And then you went fun. to, um, is it, how do you pronounce it? Is it pizza aiolo or pizza aioli? I don't aioli? know, really. Pizza aiolo. Something, yeah. aiolo. <laughs> something like that. Right? What is but that? I, I am certified in Italy and I learned See? how to wood-fired ovens. The Napolitana style. Like, it was legit. But for this context, we use... Yeah, the the New York Baker's Pride, 
Yeah. Uh, brick ovens. Because, uh, you know, like, I thought people people in, uh, appreciate a quick slice. Yeah. Yes. So the, so the brick ovens come to play with that. So yeah. did you ever go to New York and have their pizza? I did. Pizza? So does the oh, water... Yeah, I worked in New York. Is, 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 so it's like the mm-hmm. dough, the water they use for the dough, that's a thing, right? You kind of mentioned it. Yeah. Um, I worked six months in New York. Didn't get paid, nothing, but I got paid in their recipes. Nice. Oh, so I brought well. the recipes back. Um, the marinara's from there. The nice. dough recipes from there. A lot of the recipes that we use here are true, authentic New York that, that have been passed down in generations to the to Bruno, who shared it with me out there. That's that's okay. priceless, right yeah, there. Yeah, you, you can't go. put a price on that. Yeah, I was watching like the pizza yeah, they show made me work on for YouTube. It. <laughs> yeah, I bet he, yeah. I, yeah, I bet he. Did I watched it all the time. You made you made you work. Well, that's awesome. I was Karate Kid out in New York. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> taught by Mr. Miyagi. I was, I was doing work. Yeah, that's, and that's nice. And then how did you get that? Um, how did you link up with him? Did you? Just uh, reach out or so I Tony Gemignani, he's like a pizza champion. Like he went to he's an American that went to Italy and won all these uh awards and titles for having the best pizza. I was one of his first students out in North Beach, San Francisco. Oh wow. And oh. so after I got done with his course and I got certified, he sent me up there to uh get more training. Wow. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's a it's it's a real deal game. Like yeah, you can't oh, just yeah. open up a Open up no. a pizza spot and that, you don't know how I to make dough, until, especially until I got into it. And really? I was like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot more, um, more involved. Yeah. To what, so is place. this like your first endeavor in the food food game? Uh, or did you have had, any um, concepts before that you tried? Family. I worked. Yeah, seven years at Outback Steakhouse, going to school. One of my first jobs, and then um, I majored in hotel restaurant management at Cal Poly. Then oh. I wanted to try my hand at hotels, so I um, went to the Ritz Carlton. In Pasadena, 9/11 happened. They were laying people off left and right. I kept my job, but they said it's good you kept your job, but we're going to give you the people we laid off. You're doing their jobs too. Oh man! So I was doing a job with like five other people. That's tough. That's and tough. Jeez. My dad was retired. Yeah. And he wanted to get into the food business, so we got into Cold Stone Creamery. So I left, and uh, we opened three Cold Stone Creameries. Wow. Oh, at least one of his family. Yeah. Too, right. And then um. We're like, hey, you know what? These franchises, you get you get big brothered a lot. You know, you pay the money to be in your own business, but they come and check on you, yeah. and you don't have oh, the yeah, creative freedom. That? Yeah. So this is where I found my creative freedom. Yeah, because you can't receiving. just like make up your own. Stuff. No, they, like, sell you like a business model, and this is yes. what you have to like. You, you have to abide by that and yeah. follow a lot of red tape. Piece. It has to be if you make something at Cold Stone that's different na- nationally, everybody has to be on the same same page. Oh. Same page. Yeah. Same look. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And but no I, secret, I can think no of something menus to, over basically here at Cold Stones. Yeah. 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 Over here I can think of something today and make it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, That's yeah great. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So do you have any uh, like off the menu like secret menu or do you do stuff custom for people? They ask for weird stuff? Uh you can't bring your own toppings because of liability yeah. issues, <laughs> but they can shoot me ideas and I can make it happen. Nice. You know, um I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything in the works right in the now. In the works right now? No. Yeah, so just, like how often are you coming out with new stuff though? Like, oh, well, let me ask you. What was the first uh, custom item that you started with? Because you, you said you started for the first couple years with just like regular Yeah, stuff. regular but What was the first pepperoni. one you're like, let me try this? Was it the Apastor? Was it the lasagna? Or It was it was the pastrami. <laughs> and and pastrami, pastrami took off, to yeah. tell you the truth. But pastrami got to be eight dollars a pound. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. And I was like, "That's crazy." Uh, we need to maybe have another hit pizza. It's not as expensive to make. That's when the elote came in. Oh, okay. And then that, uh, you know, Mexican street food was really um, taking off at that time, and it still is. And uh, so that pizza took off, and and that's um, that that's that's what started everything for us pretty much. There was um, a viral video, I think. Up to 11 million views right now. Wow. Was on it the put up by Food Beast? Beast? Or um, put it out. No, Insider. 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 Yeah, yeah, I saw wow. it. Yeah. 11 million. That's, 11 million. That's crazy. They did the Alpa store and the. Uh, Food Beast did the uh, Alpa store that went viral, 6 million views. Yeah. I have to admit, I probably just replayed it a lot <laughs> while yeah, I'm at work. You know, water. ordering my lunch. Yeah, was like, yeah, I'm about to order lunch, but let me watch this video real quick. I gave you let me tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> a couple thousand views. Thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. That's dope. That is awesome. Yes. Yeah, so what is it like, though, having 
stuff go viral? Like, do you guys have it, people that will come here just to try this stuff? We and, became a destination spot. Yeah. Uh, people come from all over just to say they tried the pizza. Yeah. So that trips me out every time. Like people coming from Redlands, San Diego. Damn. Like, like that's, really? That's really that's cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Like, I feel blessed in that in that aspect. But um, yeah, it trips me out every time because I I just feel like I'm a local yeah. place. Like, yeah. you know, well deserved. Because we you. always we always talk about like, you know, restaurants or pop ups or whatever that that you know they kind of sometimes they do stuff for the shock factor. You know, they'll just throw a bunch of crazy shit together, and just for the fact that it's crazy. But you could tell like your pizzas are well thought, balanced, and you can't yeah you can't like you can't deny how good they are. Yeah, you can't front on that. Thank you. Know? Yeah, you at, at the end of the day, we just want to make solid good food too. Not, That's awesome. Because the hype will fade. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I just I want people to still come here for a good slice. Don't you know, believe the hype. Pizza, right. Yeah. Speaking of dope food, recently you collabed with our boys from Grub Life on the Manila Sunrise Pizza. Hey. <laughs> how did that come about? How did How's that going? Uh, uh, that went viral too. It's uh, it's, with, uh, with it's, it's going really well. I, uh, more than I thought it would. Uh, oh. I didn't know the movement for Filipino food was was that big. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we came out with the elote and the al pastor, and you yeah. know, those are Mexican fusion pizzas. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm half Filipino, so I'm like, let's maybe we could do something like that's you know, my Philip you know the Filipino side of things. So yeah. Uh, I got with Grub Life and they, they had a killer longanisa sausage recipe. I said, hey, can we put that on the pizza? So we collaborated on that. And now, yeah, now like almost every other week, they bring me sausage. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and, I, and I tell people about them. Nice. Yeah. That's dope. And people trip out that it's a Filipino breakfast pizza with longanisa eggs. Hey. Um, got the garlic chips. Red onions. Garlic yeah, chips, yeah. Garlic, fried garlic chips. Yeah, it's wow. yeah. It's, like, it's yeah, it's good. I could just eat those garlic chips. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my handfuls on like that's Filipino, yeah, that's Filipino <laughs> stuff. Like you're just walking around and you smell garlic all over your body. Yeah, and, like oh, sweating you're... through your pores and shit. That's nasty, but it's great. Yeah, <laughs> but it's Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian, what are your what are your go to spots? Like where do you go after maybe working a shift here, going out with your family? Where do you like to go and eat? Well, I got two two little girls. I got a six month and a two year old, so it's hard to get out okay. anywhere. I, so I it's mostly it. home cooking for now. Yeah. Sometimes I'll sneak away and get an In and Out burger, but but yeah, <laughs> we it's hard to go to a restaurant with Dude, little kids. Yeah. I know. Well, <laughs> as they get older, like JJ. Man, you have more dude, freedom? Or, no, <laughs> no, you got less. <laughs> this, dude wants to, this dude wants to order everything off the menu. Oh. Where are you going? I'm hungry. It's like, dude, you just ate like two Man. minutes ago. Man. But you have girls, so it's a, it's a little different. Like, Janai, Janai's a little more chill, sometimes a little picky, but not like JJ. JJ's like, the that beast. dude, that dude is a freaking monster. But yeah. So, you know, it gets to a point where you'll be able to go out a little, a little bit. Okay. Right yeah, now. I'm looking forward to that. It's <laughs> doing some exploring. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's crazy. And what about because we always talk about overrated spots. So do you have yes. any spots that you think like, eh, the food's like whatever, but they have a lot of they have a big buzz. Or yeah, they have like hype a lot of hype, yeah. And then you try it and it's like this place was whack. So Man. Yeah. There was one, but I couldn't think of I can't think <laughs> of it now. Cause it was just I hype, man. What <laughs> is the spot? Yeah, that's there's one I can, yeah. I, I tend to forget bad experiences anyways. Oh. And well, that's good on. though. That's yeah. good. That's really good. That's good for them. <laughs> <Sometimes, yeah. laughs> and, and then I'll find myself at the same place and remember like why oh. I didn't go. And the, then you're like, damn, yeah. why did yeah, I come I back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, was this the spot? Yeah, it was. Damn it. That's funny. That's too funny. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So what do you do? You have any like long term goals for your spot? I want to be able to step away. Um, and have this place kind of run how I like it. Yeah. Uh, maybe that might open it up, open up more opportunities for me to open more locations. Yeah, okay. But right now I'm working like a lot of hours during the week I just bet. to make sure people get the quality of food and service yeah. that, that I expect coming from here. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough finding good help and it's, it's stuff like that. And no one really cares about your business as much as you Would do. You? Yeah, sure. Because, exactly. you know, your name's on the... On the place, yeah. To some of these people, it's just a job. 
Right. Yeah. So um, that's why I have to be here. But I think people come here because I'm here too. Right. So maybe the food won't taste the same if I'm not. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah this, this is my bread and butter. I got to be here. Yeah. But, um, but the goal yeah. is to be able to. The goal is to be able to, like spend more time with the family. Yeah. And uh, yeah. maybe take a vacation here and there. Yeah. My uh, my brother-in-law, his uncle owns a, a restaurant, and I think in 20 years or 20 plus years it's been open these last few years has been the first time he's taken like oh, really? Sundays off yeah cause he's you know he's like you he's like he's here personable everybody loves him and like you said they come they go to his restaurant for him and I'm sure they come to this restaurant for you and you know personality is a big deal when you're dealing with you know customers and people will come back just to hang, hang out eat grab something so yeah it's 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 hard. It's hard to peel yourself away from, like you said, this is your baby, one of your babies. So you have three kids. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like, I treat this place like a baby too. Yeah, yeah. I so can that, easily tell you that if I was in high school still, I'd be like, somebody got to take me to Rose City every day just <laughs> to get a slice and a soda and just That's chill dope. and hang out. You know. Hell yeah. So what about any big projects you're thinking of or ideas you want to want to do down the line? Not really. I, I take it by as it comes. I fly the, by the seat of my pants. Like yeah, the whole Game of Thrones thing was thought up the night before. Oh, right. oh damn! It, it was like a matter of just That's two, dope. three days. Yeah, and we were we were rolling with that. So I'm I'm excited to see what's gonna what's uh the future has in store for us. That's but I I can't really too. tell you. <laughs> what are <laughs> go ahead? No, no. Go what, ahead. What are some of the things that you've had before, like Game of Thrones, or are there anything that you tried before that didn't work or tried that? Um, you'd want to come and like maybe bring back any kind of uh, one-off. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a oh, big dope. deal for us. Yes, turtles oh. and pizza. Yeah, hey, so oh, we're yeah. gonna right, come yeah. back with that in a big way. That was actually our first group art show, and nice. that that got a lot of press, and that was nuts. So nice. I'm thinking about bringing that back. Uh, actually, we have um, Stranger Things is coming out in July. Oh, nice. So we're working on a uh, inspired menu with them. Oh, cool. Nice, and it's. We got we got some good stuff. Is that an exclusive? <laughs> you uh, heard it here first. Yeah, yeah, we got some good yeah, exactly. That go. is an exclusive. That's tight. And we'll be back. I'm for ready that. for that. I'm ready. Right. I mean, just everything that's tied in with like pop culture and, and pizza is like it's like the to me it's like the perfect pairing, you know. Like you grab Those a pizza and then you're like, all right, cool, let's go home and watch Stranger Things. Let's watch Game of Thrones and stuff like that. Like we'll get some egos. It's like yeah. it's perfect. <laughs> like, eating an elote pizza and watching Game of Thrones, someone getting slashed and, and shit, you know. Just something about that Perry. Yeah. <laughs> something about that. I I can't put a finger on it, but it's like the best though. I feel yeah. like pizza pairs with a good time. Period. You know, yeah. you, you after a baseball Automatic. game, after you play a baseball game when you're little, you get pizza. Win yeah. or lose, right? It was, yeah. True. Definitely. It's it's a great memory having pizza at the end. It's like a community thing too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shared meal. Yeah. 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 You know. That's awesome. I mean, maybe not all the like, time. Sometimes. Literally breaking bread, <laughs> not, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> not if JJ's at your table. Yeah. So that's. Uh, we're gonna get one more uh, for JJ. <laughs> yeah. We need to get a, another, just a uh, entire pizza for him. Yeah. Shout out cool. to cousin Mikey in the cut battling that, battling that uh, that hangover, hangover. Yeah. Oh, looking dry over nice there. Poor guy. guy. Need some beer and some poke. He needs a hug. He needs yeah. a, a beer <laughs> and a, a <laughs> beer and a hug. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Keep well, the hangover. Awesome. So, keep the hangover riding, bro. You know we'll yeah. be we'll be back and forth tonight. You know, seeing if we could get some people Maybe to talk about the specialty bites. pizzas that we all came up with with Brian. Yeah. Um, and uh, yo, thank you again for the opportunity. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Allowing all us the pizzas to, to do all thank this. You. Can't wait to make them. Definitely Excited to get everybody. this uh, and get everybody's reaction. Pizzas. Yeah, I get some of these wings. I get some poke and all, some all of the food. above. Yeah. So we'll, the, yeah, let's we'll go going and uh, we'll go and get some you know some feedback from people. Yeah, definitely. See how this. See what they think of it. Looks like people are starting to roll in. Yeah. Uh, so it's about to be that time. So. You know? uh, Brian's probably going to have to hop in the back. Yeah. 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 Where, where can they find you on uh, social yeah. media and all that stuff? Just uh, Rose City Pizza on Instagram. Uh, search us on Facebook. Uh, we have uh, rosecitypizza.com. Right. Yeah. Find us all there. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, oh. there it is. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you, right. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Are you guys all right. hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I got to yeah. do some Let's prep, do so we got to wrap up. All right, all right cool. Thanks, man.